The Red Umbrella Book Talk by Jennifer Kite Have you ever wanted to be a part of a secret plan? Operation Pedro Pond was one. It was an organized evacuation of more than 14,000 unaccompanied children whose parents sent them away to escape Fidel Castro's revolution. Children as young as five years old landed in Miami, Florida and were placed into camps if they were not met by family or friends. From these camps, the children would be placed into foster homes in Nebraska, Iowa, or any other place in the U.S. The Red Umbrella tells the story of one family's struggle during this time in Cuba's history. Christina Gonzalez's Cuban heritage comes out in the historical fiction novel The Red Umbrella, and she tells the story like only an insider of the culture can. The facts for this book come from the stories of her parents and her in-laws. They lived it. Christina Gonzalez's parents were lucky enough to be met in Miami by family members. Her mother-in-law? Not so lucky. Her mother-in-law was placed in a foster home in Iowa. I'm Jennifer, and this story captivates your attention with the uncertainty and fear of the people of this time in Cuba's history. Well, who doesn't enjoy an unexpected break from school, right? Lucia sure did, even though she had to babysit a little brother sometimes. But she did not know her life was about to turn upside down. A couple of years after the communist revolution in Cuba, everything started to change for Lucia and her family. Castro and his men come and disrupt her life and the lives of everyone she knows and loves. Before long, she'll no longer be anticipating her quinceanera, but wondering how her best friend could have turned on her and worrying how she and her family will get through this. Niños, it's about the revolution. You know, things in Cuba have changed, especially in the last few months. Air, I felt like I could breathe again. This was talk about the revolution and not about more babysitting? I smiled at my mother. Mama, we know. We hear about it in school all the time. I took the same nasal, monotone voice of my revolution-loving social studies teacher. Commandante Fidel is making our lives better. He has replaced corruption with a new system of government and has brought much happiness to all the Cuban people. We are living in a great time. Everything will be fair and equal for all citizens. But when the revolution becomes too much, Lucia's parents make a difficult decision. They decide to send Lucia and her seven-year-old brother Frankie to the United States. On their own, suddenly uprooted from Cuba and placed in Nebraska with strangers, Lucia must learn to adapt to this new life, a new country, a new language, a whole new way of life. But what about her old life? Will things ever be the same? I wanted to do a little dance. My parents were coming. Finally, after almost a year, I'd get to see them again. Mama, that's great. Can you and Papa get plane tickets? Do you need money? I have some saved up. No, that's not it. I mean, yes, we will need some money, but it's just... It's just what I asked. My visa got approved, but they won't approve your father's. Will she ever see her home or her parents again? Pick up a copy of the Red Umbrella and find out.